Thanks for joining us for this Adorama Pro video review. I'm Michael Artsis, and we have something so special. I'm excited about it. I can't even wait. Here it is, the GH4 from Panasonic. This one is a pre-production model. As of this review, this camera isn't even out yet. We've had this for the past two days. The first thing I love about this camera is that it's very, very affordable and it's in a tight package. It's a mirrorless camera that you can shoot 4K stunning video with right onto a memory card in the camera. It'll take micro four thirds lenses and with a firmware update, you won't only be able to shoot UHD 4K, but also supposedly DCI 4K. Now this camera is very similar to the GH3, especially in body. It's the same body, it's a magnesium body, but you do also have an audio in and a headphone jack on the camera. So if you're just using the camera, you can record external audio and monitor that audio. And you do have an HDMI jack right on the camera. Now, it shoots great stills, but I figure all you care about is video. That's what I think is most desirable about this camera. The ISO goes all the way up to 12,800, but realistically, you don't want to go past 1,600. Noise gets really high. I think, you know, staying between 200 and 400, maybe even 800 is really where you want to be at. And just use fast lenses. You can add an optional breakout box from Panasonic that they've made that everybody's been asking for in DSLRs for a while. It's like a battery grip for a DSLR, and look what you can do. You can take the 4K and you can spit it out uncompressed, 422, 10-bit to an external recorder. We did it. We took an Aja Quad Key Pro and we hooked it up and we're giving you stunning 4K video that is completely uncompressed. Now, in addition to that on the breakout box, you get true XLR audio input and great audio preamps. Hey, I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks for joining us. We've got a great mic test here on the GH4. But of course, then you have audio dials to control the audio. You can go 48 phantom power line or mic, and you can monitor your audio with nice LED levels in addition to that. You power this thing by a four pin XLR battery brick or battery belt or just plugging it into the wall. And you also have HDMI out. Enough about the stats. Let's check out some of this video. Now first, we went into Times Square at night and we wanted to show you how stunning Times Square could look. So check this out. This is what it's all about, how the footage looks. You can see that with the micro four thirds lenses, we're using a Panasonic lens right now. And you can see that the autofocus tracking is actually pretty quick and pretty accurate. You can also put an adapter on this micro four thirds camera and take other lenses on it, like this Nikon glass. This is a 50 millimeter one four that we're using in this bar. It's very low light. You might want to shoot your friend's concert or a recital or some other event. You do get some moire, you do get some anti-aliasing, and of course there's rolling shutter. That's what you get from a DSLR and a digital CMOS sensor. That's not gonna go away here. But where I think this camera shines is really when you're trying to do interviews, look at this interview shot, and also product shots, right? We wanted to run the gamut for you and show you how we would use it in workflows and how you might use it. This footage from Times Square is shot on board in the camera. The footage on the product shots here are shot using the breakout box to an Aja Quad Key Pro recorder, uncompressed ProRes 444 video. It's just stunning. Now you've got a bunch of different frame rates to choose from. You can do 24 or 60 in 4K, and you can also shoot 1920 by 1080 on this camera, both on board and with the breakout box, and you have a slew of options for that as well. I talked to the folks at Convergent Design the other day, and they told me that in just a few months, they'll have a firmware update out for the Odyssey Q7 that'll allow you to do ProRes 444 coming out of the breakout box for this GH4, so you can use the Odyssey Q7. It's really an amazing monitor slash recorder. Right on board, you have focus peaking. I think with these small monitors on a camera like this, Having that really helps you figure out your focus. And it's not something to live by, but it's certainly a good tool to have in the bag. So this is the Panasonic GH4 shooting 4K video. We plugged it into a TV at Adorama that was 4K, and we looked at some of the footage, and it was just unreal. For the price point that this camera is, I really think it's gonna be amazing. The great thing about recording 4K in the camera is that it's a light enough codec to edit on most computers that you've already been editing on. We're using an iMac with FCP-X on it to edit, and you can do it on this iMac in Premiere. Now with 4K footage, you really have to have a storage array and a server, and we've got that infrastructure, but we're still using the iMac to edit, and I think that that's really key. 
we can kind of get away with doing it for this review with the uncompressed 4K out of the Aja, but the reality is we really need to upgrade our systems to be able to edit that robust footage. I have to say, this camera shoots really well. I'm Michael Artsis, thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for the next Adorama Pro video review.